Hi everybody! This is part of an awesome collaboration between myself and these amazing artists you see here. They've all made wonderful step-by-step -step baby shower theme tutorials just for you. Please see all the links underneath the video to check out their full tutorials. Hi everybody, this is Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes and we're coming to you with another awesome tutorial. This one is a teddy bear baby shower themed cake topper. This is so much fun to do, very simple to do and this really adds a lot of cuteness to a baby shower cake. So we're going to show you how to make this boy topper and of course you can customize it also for a girl's baby shower cake but you're going to see just how easy it is to create these little teddy bear heads and the little arms and legs sticking out of the word boy and I hope you guys have fun and let's go ahead and get started. Okay so I rolled out my gum paste to about a quarter of an inch in thickness and we do want this to be pretty thick but not so thick to where when we cut out our letters the plastic will be imprinted. These are just regular plastic cookie cutters. You can find these in large sets at any craft store. And what I'm going to do is press down a little more than half ways. And then I'm going to lift it and turn it upside down. And this is the way that I eliminate any burrs. Turning it upside down and then rolling over the letter with my rolling pin and I like to go over the edge gives you a nice clean edge and then I do the same for the two little holes in the center of the B. And when you're rolling out your O and your Y, just be sure to roll it out equal thickness as you did this first one. Okay, so there's our letter B. Any little burrs, just go ahead and squash them down with your fingers. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and roll out the O and the Y. Now that I have all my letters cut out, I'm taking a small amount of brown gum paste, and this is going to be for the teddy bear's head, and I'm just kneading it just to make it pliable. Go ahead and roll it in a ball, and you want to make sure to get all the cracks and wrinkles out. Okay, then I'm simply going to place it on my tabletop and the head is a semi 2D so we do want it to be flat in the back and all I'm doing is pressing it down and using my fingers to cause the bottom to get flat and this is going to be flush up against my table. Okay just like that. Okay, so you have a top view now and to Make the little holes in the eyes. I'm going to take this small ball tool. This is one of the Martha Stewart tools, and this is a medium size. And the two little holes for the eyes are going to be somewhat close together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my ball tool and make one hole. Press it down. And then I'll go ahead and make the second hole. Just enough to sink the ball into the gum paste. Okay, then I'm going to take the ball tool and just widen it just a tiny bit in a circular motion. Then we want to give the teddy's eyes cute little wrinkles on the side of his eyes. So I always use this really awesome straight blade, but this time I'm going to use the dull side, not the side that has the blade. And to make two little wrinkles, you just make one little line straight out and one a little bit angled upward. So that gives it a little look of, of little wrinkles there. And then I'll do the same with the other side. I'm gonna turn it upside down. One little wrinkle going straight out. And the other one at a slight angle. And sometimes doing this does distort the shape of the circles or the little holes that you made. So just put your ball tool back in there and just reshape the hole. Now to make the two little ears, I'm just kneading a very small amount of brown gum paste. Make it nice and pliable and I'm gonna roll it into a tiny little ball. This is smaller than the size of a small gumball, 
okay I would say only about a little over a quarter of an inch in width and I've already got all my cracks and wrinkles out on all I'm gonna do is just put on my work surface and just press it down into a little donut shape and then I'm gonna take my large ball tool just to create a large dent on the inside then I am going to use my medium sized ball tool and move it in a circular motion just to create these cute little ear effects here a wide little donut and you can actually get two ears out of this one piece of gum paste. So now that I have a cute little ear shape, I'm going to go ahead and take my blade and I'm going to cut it right in half. There's my two little ears. Then I'm going to take a little bit of edible glue and add a little bit of glue. To both ears only where it will of course be touching the head and then just add the two little ears and then you do want the ears touching the table okay so that's how far back they are and then just gently press them up against the head to make sure that they're gonna stay I like to pick it up and then bend the ears down to force them to stay in that position. I'm needing a very pale brown or a very light tan colored brown. This was made by mixing white with a tiny little bit of the brown that we're using for the Teddy's head. And this size of ball is only about a one half inch in width. That's all you need for the little snout. And I'm rolling into a perfect ball to make sure I get all the cracks and wrinkles out. Place it on my tabletop and I'm just going to roll it into a little fat capsule shape. Just like that. Okay. And once again, carefully press it down towards the tabletop without distorting the capsule shape. So we're going to give it a nice domed shape. And if you want to check the size of the snout compared to the size of the teddy head, just simply pick it up and place it on there just to see if you're going to be happy with the size. And that looks really cute. I'm very happy with that size. Oops. Okay. And then you can see the side view there nice and flat in the back. So all I'm going to do now is take a little bit of edible glue, add it to the back of the snout. Remember not to use a lot of glue, you just need enough to make it tacky. And grab your little teddy head and then you're going to place the snout right underneath the eyes. And then I use my fingers to gently nudge it down towards the face so that it takes on the shape of the face. You don't want any gaps where the snout is meeting the face. So just press it all the way down to make sure it's nice and stuck. Then, after you've placed the little snout onto the face, if you uh, don't have one of these little smiley face tools, this, these are new from Wilton, and I love this new little tool. It gives you two sizes of mouths that you can do, but if you don't have this, you can always use a size 1A tip to imprint the mouth into the snout. And you want the little mouth to be right in the center and just press it in give them that cute little smile okay then take your Wilton stitching tool I love this tool as well and we're just going to give them a little stitch from where the nose will be to the mouth and you don't want to go all the way to the brown 
just near the top of the snout, right in the center, and stop at the mouth. I'm needing a very small amount of black gum paste, and be sure to wash your hands after this because your fingers do get black. And the size of the eyeball is really just trial and error. So all I'm gonna do is just grab a little bit of gum paste and try not to dirty my Teddy's face. And then I'm just gonna draw, I can already tell it'll be way too small. So grab a little bit more and have it drop right in, <laughs> <laughs> right in the eye socket. Okay, and that looks really cute. So that size is perfect. So, since I know that's the perfect size for this eye socket, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of glue. And of course, not all eye sockets are the same. Nothing guarantees that you made them both exactly the same. So, you're gonna have to do the same thing for the second eye socket and just test out a little ball. Drop. There you go. Good shot. Be sure to check out part two of my baby shower teddy bear cake topper tutorial. And don't forget to check out all of these amazing step-by-step -step tutorials we've made just for you. You can find all the links underneath this video.